We set out to basically change the world in terms of how much fuel burn, how much noise, and how much emissions this product would generate. And we basically hit every one of those elements out of the box. It's also a green product, um, which, you know, for us is also one of our core values, which is sustainability and leave the planet a better place for our children. We train engineers to go attack problems and how do you come up with a new innovation to solve it. We have amazing engineers. They're incredibly dedicated, they're brilliant, they're tenacious, and there's nothing that they can't do. But it's really in the culture of the company that says we innovate new products. Innovation is in our blood. NASA had led a contract to fly what they called an open ducted system, like a big propeller hanging on the back end of an MD-80 aircraft. And it was after that that we began to think to ourselves, you know what, the way to really get big gains in fuel efficiency was to have a geared engine. This is how the geared turbofan jet engine works. Jet engines use a simple combustion system to drive a large fan. The fan produces most of the thrust in the engine, and it uses air that bypasses the engine core to produce that thrust. Air that moves through the core of the engine is compressed and combusted. The resulting combusted gas drives a turbine, which in turn drives the fan. In a conventional engine, the fan and turbine rotate at the same speed, on the same shaft, which really limits the efficiency of both components. In a geared turbofan engine, a gearbox enables the fan and turbine to run at different speeds. A smaller, faster turbine makes the engine shorter and lighter, and thus more efficient. A larger, slower fan lets the engine push more air, meaning more thrust, using less fuel. The slower moving air also makes the engine much, much quieter. A lot of people just thought, never will we be able to make a gear robust enough. But we thought that there was no reason in the world that we couldn't make it viable. The demonstrator program that I joined in 2006 was really all about demonstrating the benefit of the gear turbofan architecture in a full engine platform. And uh, when we ran that on the ground for the first time, it was awesome. When we flew it for the first time on our flying test bed, it was amazing. The final way to really convince a customer is we gave that engine to Airbus and said, here you go, put it on your airplane, do what you want with it. And then Airbus went and did a demonstrator on their craft and it kind of blew the roof off this place. It was so incredible. Mitsubishi was the first to select our engine for their aircraft. Then Bombardier did the same. Next was Irkut. Airbus saw the opportunity there and chose to re-engine their A320 family of aircraft. Embraer decided to go re-engine their airplanes to demonstrate that improved benefit. All of those things cascading to um, really reinvigorate the airplane development portion of the industry in addition to the engine development portion of the industry. What the Gear Turbofan did was a real step change in technology. It also has another benefit, specifically maintenance cost reduction. When you can come up with an idea, put it on a piece of paper, turn it into metal, actually make it work, and it does what you thought it would from the very beginning. This engine represents not only the future of Pratt & Whitney, but it represents the future of the entire aviation industry.